Brothers and sisters, um, I was just watching a TV7 Israel News update, a video that's 12 minutes in length, um, and um, I watch pretty much all of their videos because I watch the time clock um, every day. And um, TV7 Israel News about three hours ago reported um, that the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, um, made reports and stated that Iran has enough uranium uh, for several nuclear arsenal weapons, um, weapons-grade uranium. And um, right when right when he reported this at the 36-second mark in the video, Yeshua HaMashiach tapped my right arm at exactly 5.18 p.m. Um, out of nowhere. I would not have guessed this in a million years. I didn't see this coming a mile away. So I have to come on here and alert everyone. I need everyone to watch this video, okay? It's a 12 minute video. I will link it in the pinned comment and in the description box. It was uploaded three hours ago. And um, he wants me to come on here and read um, Isaiah 13, Revelation 18, um, the verses that apply to the destruction of um, Babylon, America, and he wants me to read uh, Jeremiah 51, okay? Um, because immediately when he tapped my arm um, right by my right shoulder um, at 5.18 p.m. Eastern time zone, right when I was listening to the uh, Jonathan Hessen report from TV7 Israel News at the 36 second mark, right at that 36 second mark, Yeshua tapped me out of nowhere, right when um, he stated that the International Atomic Energy Agency stated that Iran has enough uranium for several nuclear arsenal weapons. Um, immediately, the, the Ruach HaKadosh dropped on my spirit that Isaiah 13 Revelation 18 and Jeremiah 51 judgments are drawing near. Um, there's no way around it. There's no turning what Iran has done. Um, there's no way to get rid of it. It will happen. It's been prophesied. And he has pleaded with me in just, you know, recent minutes to come on here and report this and, and read Isaiah 13, okay, with a focus on verses 17 through 19. Uh, the, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mu mustereth the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man, than the golden wedge of Ophir." Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one to his own land." 
Every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. Behold, I will stir up the Medes, this is Medo-Persia, Iran, against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eye shall not spare children and Babylon the glory of kingdoms the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah it shall never be inhabited neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there neither shall the shepherds make their fold there but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures and owls shall dwell there and satyrs shall dance there and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons in their pleasant place palaces and her time is near to come and her days shall not be prolonged Next, I'm going to be reading Revelation 18, verses 1 through 10. Babylon is fallen. This is prophetic Babylon, North America. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Next, I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 51. Um, and I'm going to focus on verse 25, um, knowing that verse 25 does speak of the destructive mountain um, Yellowstone. Um, after studying uh, geological um, areas, you know, throughout the Middle East, um, globally, you know, studying land masses, um, I do believe, and I will carve it in stone, the actual destructive mountain of Jeremiah 5125 is only Yellowstone, okay? And when that volcano erupts, when Iran bombs U.S. soil, um, it will wipe out every major living organism off the map, Okay, so it's imperative that you watch this update. It, like I said before, and I'll say it again, it will be in the description box and in the pinned comment. Please, Yeshua tapped my right arm and told me, uh, dropped on my spirit, Isaiah 13, Revelation 18, judgments are drawing nigh. Um, bear with me one second. A destroying wind. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her, and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about, against him that bendeth let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifteth himself up in his brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her host. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God, of the Lord of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Flee out 
of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad." Babylon has fallen. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies." The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. Um, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong, set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes, for the Lord hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. The Lord of hosts hath sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill uh, thee with men." as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. He hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom and hath stretched out the heaven by his understanding. When he uttereth his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens. And he causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings with rain and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. For his molten image is falsehood and there is no breath in them. They are vanity, the work of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. The rod of God's inheritance. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. This is Yellowstone, saith the Lord, which destroyest all the earth. And I will stretch out mine hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations, but thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Lord. Set ye up a standard in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her, um, call together against her the kingdoms of Ararat, Minai, and Ashkenaz, appoint a captain against her, cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars, prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes, the captains thereof, and all the rulers thereof, and all the land of his dominion, and the land shall tremble 
and sorrow, for every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might hath failed. They became as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. One post shall run to meet another and one messenger to meet another to shew the king of Babylon that his city is taken and one end and that the passages are stopped and the reeds they have burned with fire and the men of war are frightened. Okay. And so we know that the five wise virgins who do go out to meet the groom and the bride, they do represent the good men of the house, okay? They know to watch in line with Revelation 3.3. 3. Um, he will come like a thief, okay? Um, you know, the five wise virgins who do go out to meet the groom and the bride, they are true watch women and watchmen, okay? They know to watch, okay? Um, and so... You know, we have to be prepared. We are commanded to watch. We are commanded to be the good men of the house. Okay? We we have to watch in line with Revelation 3 3. What are we watching for? Psalm 83 wars. Um, you know, we we are commanded to watch for 1 Thessalonians 5 3 and Joel 3 2. It is a biblical fact that he will crash back down on the Mount of Olives for the parting of his land, Israel. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction will fall upon them. Them, okay, this will fulfill part of Joel 3 2, and um, it will fulfill all of 1 Thessalonians 5 3. Okay, um, you know, the five wise and the bride they know to watch. Okay, when the spirit and the bride say, Come, you know, right after, right approximately when the land of Israel is parted. Um, we're going to be leaving, okay? I post on my community page. I'm on Twitter. Um, you know, I watch uh, TV7 Israel News um, pretty much every day, all of their updates. We are getting close to Psalm 83 wars. They want to cut Israel off from being a nation, okay? And so we are commanded to watch, okay? And what happened at 5.18 p.m., Right when uh, TV7 Israel News reported um, about the International Atomic Energy Agency, right when I watched that at exactly the 36 second mark, um, Yeshua tapped my right upper arm. This is not a coincidence, people. So lastly, I'm going to read the parable of the 10 virgins, knowing that the five wise really do represent the good men of the house of Luke 12, 35 through 40. Then the kingdom of heaven will be compared to 10 virgins. The same took their lamps and went to meet the groom and the bride, but five of them were wise and five were foolish, and those fools took their lamps and did not take oil with them. But those wise ones took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But when the groom delayed, all of them grew tired and slept, and in the middle of the night there was an outcry, Behold, the groom has come, go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. The fool said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, behold, our lamps have gone out. But the wise answered and said, Why, there is not enough for us and for you. Go to those who sell and buy for yourselves. And when they went to buy, the groom came, and those who were ready entered with him into the wedding place, and the door was barred. But afterward, those other virgins came, and they were saying, Our Lord, our Lord, open to us. But he answered and said to them, Amen, I say to you that I do not know you. Wake up, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour." Okay, a time of Jacob's trouble is fast approaching, but Jacob will be saved out of it, as proven in Jeremiah 30, verse 6 and 7. It will also be a time of the heathen, as proven in Ezekiel 30, verse 3. Okay, we have to watch a command in Revelation 3, 3, um, and Luke 12, 35 through 40. Okay, um, consider this a sign from Adonai Elohim. I know we will fly soon. Shalom.